Aoi Dayu san is the only young Tayu existing. This is how greatly Tayu and Oirang are different. Why do they paint their teeth black on purpose? <laughs> And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo! Today guys, we are back here at my at Kyoto Tea Ceremony and I actually have a very, very special guest and I'm super nervous, yeah? <laughs> but right next to me is Aoi Dayu-san! よろしくお願いいたします。ありがとうございます。本当に光栄です。嬉しいです。YouTube活動頑張ってきてよかったなっていう感じがしてます。ご紹介をしていただいてもよろしいですか。本当にありがとうございます。私は京都島原の末広
Oiran Dochu is a ceremonial walk to pick up a familiar guest waiting at a shop who has nominated that Oiran that night. People from all over town gathered to watch, and it was like a huge parade. This was the only time when Oiran would dress like a Tayu. Another big difference is that no matter how high rank Oiran is within the Yugaku districts, they are a Yuzhou prostitute, so they did not have the freedom to freely go anywhere they wanted. Meanwhile, Tayu did not have such restrictions, but rather had the right to enter the imperial palace. So, this is how greatly Tayu and Oiran are different. Aoi Dayu-san told us that she always gets the same question, so I really hope you now fully understand the differences. Aoi Dayu-san will now show us the special ceremony called the Hashinoshiki. This takes place when she meets the customer for the first time. The Tayu appears, holds a sakazuki cup, and reflects the customer on the cup. She uses the shiny cup to see the guests, because it was believed to be rude to directly see them when they first meet. Then the attendant will call the Tayu's name. Then the Tayu will turn the cup, this time to reflect herself on the cup. Then traditionally, she would leave and go back to her house. This ritual takes place for the Tayu to decide whether she will participate in the customer's party or not. So you can understand how powerful Tayu were back at that time. After the Tayu officially decides to join, she will walk the Tayu Dochu to come back to the banquet. So now that you know how Tayu are very different from other women entertainers, let's learn more about them. The first thing that would catch her eyes would absolutely be her fabulous fashion, right? Look at her gorgeous hairstyle. How many ornaments are there? まあ、22本感差しさせております。22本。頭だけで4kg ですね。4kg。重たいんです。重たいですね。5kg ぐらいになったりすることもありますので、やっぱり首や肩は4個おります。I <笑> can't believe she is bearing such weight as she moves and dances. The design and number of hair ornaments have changed through time. And she's not wearing a wig, but this is all her natural hair. In order to tie this special hairstyle, you would at least need hair that reaches under your chest. There are records of Tayu having 37 different hairstyles depending on the occasion, and 24 types have currently been restored. There are only two people left who can tie a Tayu's hair, and one person is 80 years old, and the other is 90. Let's go down a little bit and take a look at her collar. <laughs> I had no clue about that. Again, Tayu were the only women entertainers who were allowed in the Empress Banquet. As proof of this, Tayu were given the social rank from the Imperial Court. The color that represented people of this rank was scarlet red. 
By showing this collar on the collar, it functioned as a passport to go into the Imperial Palace. However, I am learning so many new things. This is how even Japanese people mix Tayu and Oiran together. Let's go down even more and take a look at her special obi tying. Shimabara Musubi. Oh yeah, you can see the kanji kokoro, and you might have noticed this too, but Aoi Tayu-san has kept her hands under the belt this whole time. What does this mean? Very, very interesting. But why does she tie the obi in the front? これはやっぱり暗いがあるからですね。あの、武家の奥方とかでも、あの、実際その、お家の中のことやらはる時は、まあ、あの、白で結んではったりもしてたんですけど、正式な場合でやる、帝の前に出はる時とかは、前に結ん
I will explain later why the Taiyu culture, which was even valued by the emperor, has declined so much. Today, Kamuro did not live in, but stay with their families and come when they have work. It's simply like a class where you can learn manners and etiquette. Young girls from 3 to 12 years old can become a Kamuro. Aoi Taiyu-san herself became a Kamuro when she was 2 years and 8 months old. However, she told us what's most important is actually your height. うちがどうしても背が低いので、140、5センチがギリギリかなっていうぐらいのね。身長で。そうなんですね。どうしてもやっぱり成長してくるっていうのはね、ええことなんですけどね。あの、やっぱり鴨野ちゃんのその子供ら
However, after the anti-prostitution law was issued in 1957, Yuzhou and Oidan disappeared, and the area became a place where Maiko and Geiko operated as in the current form of Hanamachi. In Kyoto today, there are five famous Hanamachi districts, which are called the Gokagai. However, there used to be a sixth district in the past. This is the Shimabara, where the Taiyu were working. Shimabara is believed to be the oldest Hanamachi in Japan that has existed from 600 years ago. In its most prosperous period, it is said that the imperial court, famous feudal lords, and even the Shinsengumi were patrons. However, a major incident happened that changed everything. In 1867, the shogunate returned its power to the imperial family. As a result, the emperor and all court nobles moved to Tokyo, the political center of Japan. This of course had a big impact on Shimabara and Taiyu. With less Taiyu, Shimabara continued to shrink, and there was only one house left where the Taiyu worked. With only one house, it can't be called a city or district anymore. So Shimabara was removed from the six Hanamachi, and now we say there's only five. The house that Aoi Taiyu-san belongs to became independent in 2014, and there are finally two houses. But two is not enough to call itself a city. So Aoi Taiyu-san's dream is... That is a wonderful dream. I really hope that dream becomes a reality. By the way, I've heard that Aoi Tayu-san used to be a voice actor. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
ね、後ろを追っかけてくるのも三年かかりましたし、ね、それぐらい人間欲しいましたしね。There seems to be better breeders recently. However, of course, there are still many terrible pet shops. The fact that Japan slaughters thousands of lives every year doesn't change. So she is willing to do everything she can to try to improve the situation. As one of the very few people who are trying to carry on the Shimabara Tayu culture, I wanted to know Aoi Dayu san's opinion about the meaning and values of Japanese traditional culture, and this was her answer. Not only the Tayu culture, but all Japanese traditional culture are on the verge of extinction. Even Japanese people don't know about their own culture. It's wonderful to accept and enjoy foreign culture. But also at the same time, we must remember the important teachings that our ancestors have left for us. And the best way to do that is to try to preserve the traditional culture. In the country, the culture is very important to be able to do it. The culture is very important to be able to do it. So, the last one is Are there any dreams and goals for the future? うちら島原というのはほんまに忘れ去られてしまっている文化ではあるのであのそれこそ本当に六花街復活っていうのは大きな夢ですね、まあ、の身近な夢としてはカムロたちの中から誰か一人だね<笑>太陽さんにね。<笑>あのなるなるようになってくれるように頑張って育てていくっていう夢ですね。はい。六花街復活目指して。<笑><笑>ありがとうございます。お金ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。お金ありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。She will perform a piece called Kamogawa no Tsuyu. The story is about Sakamoto Ryoma and Nakaoka Shintaro of the end of the Edo period. The story begins with the two discussing the future of Japan at a hut by the Kamo River in Kyoto. And at the climax, they are attacked and killed by assassins. The famous Shinsengumi members appear in this story too. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> で
奥の朝し、秋水抜きてせなにおい、湿布のごとく踊り込み、ヘッドばかりに切りつけたり。